one of the key aspects we find is the role of a CEO, whether it's yours or others, is to influence disruption as well as bring in inclusivity. And what do you think CEOs should or should not do today as we come out of this pandemic? Some things never change, which are your fundamental building blocks. And some things have to change because disruption is more the norm than the exception. Successful disruption, in my view, can happen only with inclusion for it to be sustainable. So, and the other thing that you raised was, how do you enhance influence? And how does one influence? It is your ability to influence because of the respect you command, both in terms of performance, but in the way you behave, that extends this influence. And this is valid for both internal stakeholders, which are the employees or the people who are directly connected with the organization, as well as for external bodies like the government or other external bodies as well. At the end of the day, the accountability is with the CEO. The buck stops there. He or she is the captain of the ship, but he or she does not know everything. And he or she has to harness the collective intelligence within the organization and equally importantly, outside the organization. Also, I think it's important to continue to critique, never criticize, to co-create, especially in a disruptive environment. Co-create within, co-create outside. Communicate and even in this period, celebrate even those short wins, the short victories that the team may be having.